Do you believe that you are the creator of your own reality? Do you believe that you have full creative power over your day ahead? Or do you believe that life just happened to you? That you are a victim of mere circumstance? And that most of your day-to-day -day life is dictated by your external environment? Well, for the longest time, I felt that way. But in this video, I'm going to share with you something I do every single morning that helps me proactively and consciously create how I want to experience the day ahead. So the one thing I'm a firm believer of is that the key to having a great day is to simply decide that you are going to have one. So what I mean by this is that every morning you set the intention for how you want to show up for your day ahead and for how you want your day to unfold. So you might be thinking I'm referring to doing things like reciting affirmations or doing a meditation or doing some type of visualization. Instead, I want to share with you something I learned from this book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Or more specifically, the author of this book, Dr. Joe Dispenza. That really helps me get into the state and the vibration of the person I want to be and how I want to experience life as I tackle my day. While at the same time, by doing this every morning, it allows my brain to memorize this state of being that I'm intending. And in turn, it allows me to pass it to my subconscious mind so it could wire it in. And the basic premise of the book is that our personalities, Dr. Joe defines as being the combination of how we think, feel, and act is all on autopilot meaning what we think, how we feel, and how we act are all the same familiar thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that our programs, our subconscious mind is running, which essentially creates our state of being, our personalities. So our thoughts produce familiar emotions. Those emotions create familiar thoughts of the same quality. Therefore, we act accordingly we act in familiar, predictable ways. It's a familiar pattern that is wired within us. Dr. Joe talks about how you can't really create anything in life from this state. You really can't make any type of meaningful, lasting change in what is familiar and what is predictable. It has to be unfamiliar to you. You have to, so to speak, step into the unknown, meaning you have to think, feel, and act differently in unfamiliar ways. And one of the ways you can do that is by progressively and proactively raising your level of consciousness, giving your mind new input, new input for the person you would like to be. And by repeatedly declaring who you want to be, you in essence pass a new program to your subconscious mind for how you want to think, feel, and act it in essence becomes the process of wiring in a new state of being to experiencing life at a higher level. So what I do every morning is repeat something. It's sort of like an affirmation, but it's more like a personal monologue. And like I said, it's something that was inspired by Dr. Joe that he loosely references in his book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. But I actually also heard him mention that he himself does this every morning when he's been asked, what is one thing that you do every morning to wire in the greater future version of yourself that you would like to become? So what I do is when I get out of bed, fresh out of sleep, so my brain is still in a light alpha brainwave state. This is a state of your brain, which is essentially the gateway to your subconscious mind. And being in this state right out of sleep allows you to be relaxed and not fully 100% conscious yet, which ideally is a state you would want to be in for doing something like this because those first couple of minutes right when you wake up out of sleep is prime time for your subconscious. You have access to influence your subconscious mind. So I go into the bathroom keeping the lights off because if I turn the lights on it will only further take me out of alpha state and bring me further into more of a waking state which I don't want. And after I handle my business maybe so I look into the mirror and repeat this little pep talk of consciousness to myself. So here goes. What is the greatest expression of myself that I want to present to the world today? Who do I want to be as I open my eyes and go about my day? Allow me to be so conscious of the person I no longer wish to be. I want to become so conscious of the person I no longer wish to be 
that I will not go unconscious to that person for a split second for the whole entire day. And if I fall from grace and I do go unconscious, I'm going to remind myself that my wholeness, my peace, my presence is much more important than any need to prove someone else wrong, to seek validation, or to indulge my ego. If I go unconscious, I'm going to give myself permission to get back up and continue. I am going to plug myself back into the present moment and return to consciousness. And I will love and honor myself for that display of resilience and awareness. Let me become so conscious of the person I do want to be. Let me become so crystal clear of how I want to think, how I want to feel, and how I want to act. And I'm going to rehearse all of this until I get to the point in which I feel I am that person. And then I'm going to tell my brain to memorize this feeling. And I will do my very best throughout the entire day to maintain this inner state of wholeness independent of the conditions of my outside world. I will not allow no person, no place, no thing, no situation, no past memory, no future event or worry disconnect me from my state of wholeness. I will take on the characteristics, attributes, identities, and traits of the person I want to become in the future, in the present moment today, without any physical, tangible proof or validation from my external environment. And when I do this well, I will get feedback from the universe. I will witness synchronicities, serendipities that will cause me to believe even further in possibility and that I am indeed the creator of my life. Beautiful. Thank you, Dr. Joe. And as I said, I got this from him, but I altered it a little bit to fit my own style. So feel free to do the same and give it a try. Do it for a while. See how it feels. See if you notice anything different in your life and how you go about your day. And if you enjoyed this video, check out this video over here where I go into more topics on how to create your state of being inspired by Dr. Joe's book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Thank you for watching.